Y'all, this car is about to look like a train hit it and then it rolled over about seven different times. We got a bunch to talk about. Warning, this video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Viewer discretion advised. Transformation once again, you guys. I'm already familiar that this is a plastic dip car, and I'm gonna actually talk to you guys about this plastic dip and kind of like the truth about it. Um, after using it for years and then finally actually using it on a whole entire car, um, I actually want to go over a lot of misconceptions and actually kind of expose in a way plastic dip with how it works and everything. However, first guys, everything is coming off the car. If you're not aware, this car is getting vinyl wrapped by yours truly. So, with that said, I'm gonna run time lapses from that angle that you're watching, possibly the back angle when I start taking stuff off the back. Um, but, I mean, everything has to come off from the mirrors to uh, the fenders to the headlights uh, to this thingy to this thingy. Uh, to my side scoops, to my wing, the fans, the rear hatch, the tail lights, the, the lettering. 2,000 years later. So without talking anymore, wasting any more time than I have, uh, I guess let's get started. Folks, how are you doing? Um, kind of walk you through what I've gotten done. You can see the million holes in the side. Uh, I got the headlight things off. I got the front stuff off. I got those uh, covers off. I got my windowsill thing uh, off. My vent off. Both fender flares and the blinker off. Um, my top is off, but it's not off the car. That is because I still need it up here to line up, um, well, I guess I'll tell you guys now. I'm putting stripes on the car, so I need it on here to uh, line up the stripes, so the, the I'm not taking that off. Took the gas cap off, and the rest of what I gotta do back here is the flare. This whole trunk lid has to come out, including these fans. Thing has to come off, uh, tail lights have to come out, this little thing has to come out, the letterings have to come out. Uh, and then I actually have to take off this piece that you guys can see as a separate piece. I actually have to go underneath the wheel well and there's a bolt that sits right, uh, it's kind of in that gap right there, yeah you can kind of see it. That bolt you access underneath the wheel well with a big ass ex extension so I have to take that off because that will get wrapped separately as well. 
But like I said, that stuff has to stay on here um, until I get the lines uh, completely down. This is the biggest project I've ever done to a car, but there's a moment I know all of you have been waiting for. Right, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. This is on there extremely thick. I'm starting to see the ugly, awful red that deserves to never be on a car. And just like this, check this out. All right, well, you can tell in some areas where it is thinner. So this area right here was very thick. You can tell as I'm getting up in this area, I didn't do this area as thick. It's still coming off as one piece, but you can, you can tell. You can tell just by the feel of the uh, plastic by you're pulling it. It is actually, it is actually still, there we go. But thus far, uh, everything has been pretty like how fast or how thick your car has said it would be. Um, you know, I do get a lot of people that say stuff like, oh, you're going to hate taking this off, it's going to suck. But, you know, I feel like I, I had some trust in uh, you did your car videos and a lot of people sitting there saying that it's not going to feel off like that. And I think I can contest that it, it actually is. And I think it comes back to the whole, if you do it right, it's going to come off right. If you guys are wondering, I've had this on for what, like six months now or something like that. And this goes to tell you that if you just do it right, and you put the necessary amount of coats, a plastic down like you're directed to, and not skip corners. I did every preparation, I did everything for this car. If you don't skip corners or anything like that, you're going to be able to peel plastic off on you, as I am right now. Okay, now that we have most of the front off, uh, not all of it, but a good amount of it. I already started the door over here. We should be able to go ahead and just this door should come off. I think the doors were the best pieces that I actually did um, throughout the whole car. I actually did them very like very good coats, and you're seeing that right here. I'm actually going to open the door, but you're seeing it right here that in the door. I don't know what you guys can see now, but uh, it's coming off much thicker and and much more of a whole piece than you know the some of the front was a little a little irritable, but. And just like that, this whole piece, like that, that whole piece comes off. And like I said, this sticks back to the whole, if you do plastic it correct, it's not going to matter how long the plastic is on there. If you do it correct, the plastic is going to come off like, you know, the dip your car guys, like when they show you those videos and like it seems too good to be true. You guys are there, but I did do the inside of the door. I'm trying not to take that all off at this moment. Uh, this video and the next video is actually focused on the interior, I mean the exterior of the car. So the interior of the car is kind of just like whatever, I'm trying to like tear this so it doesn't look awful. Yeah, like that. I don't, I don't really care about the interior right now. While I peel this out the door, I'm gonna answer some questions, uh, some common like things that are said about plastic. But a lot of people say that it'll hurt the paint. Uh, and I can hear it tell you that the paint actually looks almost better than what it was when I picked it up. It's it's clean, it's it's completely safe and I don't know. It, this acted like almost like a clear barrier that's not clear or I guess it would be called opaque. The next thing I want to focus on in this video uh, is the fact that a lot of people like Dude, when I told people I was taking this plastic dip off, so many people giving me so much crap for it and were like, you're gonna hate your life taking it, that sucks, it's gonna take a long time, you're gonna regret it. In reality, like, it's it goes back to the whole, if you do it right, it will work how it's supposed to. And, and, I, and in peeling this car, it makes me very happy that I can kind of sit here and be like, yeah, uh, so none of those people knew what they were talking about and or they've done plastic it before and they didn't do it correctly. Uh, there's another question out there where it's like, you know, can I plastic it a car and or my car again, uh, knowing, you know, what it takes to do it, uh, you know, what involves in taking the stuff off? The answer is yes. Uh, now, honestly, like, I'm, I'm wrapping this car and you guys know that, but for all whoever knows, I could be plastic dipping this car again if this wrap doesn't go good. So, you know, it's it's not out of the question for me. I Wrapping is obviously going to be more durable than plastic dip, but plastic dip is also like, I mean, it's cheaper and it's it's quicker, if you will. I mean, in some instances, but 
I would 100% place it at my car again. I don't care what car it is, it can be a freaking Ferrari, it doesn't matter. People act like, people act like Plasti Dip is only for cheap cars or something. Like, it has nothing to do with that. If I want to change the color of my car and it not be permanent, I can do that. I don't feel right letting someone else do it when I know I can learn and do it myself. So, Plasti Dip is definitely still in the future. people so it comes to the back everything is basically done on the car um, right now I'm going to actually work on removing this uh, whole part and I think it's just uh, two bolts back there um, but before we do that I'm going to remove the wing because the wing is kind of in the way of everything uh, on this piece you can't bend over the car and do anything with the wing there um, but I got you set up on my garage door it's a pretty cool angle uh, and I will be taking off the four bolts that sit under here, the only challenging thing with that is I have these on with red Loctite. at this I also am not trying to preserve this paint so it's not like I'm trying to make this look amazing um, this is detailer and this is actually a mother's uh, clay bar if you guys know what clay bar is it's basically a process of taking a piece of clay and detailer and rubbing it across the, the paint in a way I guess and it just picks up and removes any debris that is sitting on top of your paint. Um, now the main reason I'm doing this is you're probably asking, okay, why are you detailing the paint that you're not going to be using anymore? Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because when you do vinyl, you want everything to be off of the paint. Um, and that is due to uh, lift. You get, or not lift, not, not really exactly lift, but you get, if you get particles underneath your, um, underneath your vinyl, it shows it a lot more uh, in the vinyl. So you, when you do a vinyl wrap, you want it to look to as close to paint as possible. And, uh, and I'm saying all this, but I can't credit myself because I got all this knowledge from my buddy Phantom, uh, and he's been helping me out with this process. So uh, I didn't know you had the clay bar before vinyl wrapping, but it kind of makes sense because you want to make the surface as clean as possible. Guys, I'm gonna finish up this video uh, with kind of a little uh, dick tease, if you will, and to kind of explain a couple things about my experience with plastic. Number one, if you expect to have a clean car, plastic dip is not for you. Um, I will tell you, it doesn't matter if you buy the plastic dip cleaner, it doesn't matter if you buy Meguiar's Mother's or any type of cleaner, you are not going to clean plastic dip the way you can clean a car that is shiny. Um, or a matte paint job. It just, it doesn't work. And, and uh, you know, credit to the guys over at Dip Your Car and stuff that try to develop things to help clean the dip, but when you get bug splatters on Plasti Dip, it's almost like the splatter of the bug actually combines with the Plasti Dip, and no matter how much you scrub, it is not going to come off. It just won't, it just 100% won't. So if I was to actually pick one flaw to Plasti Dip, it would definitely have to be the cleaning factor. Uh, and the fact that it's just not, it's not doable, uh, in my eyes, it's just not, 
you're not able to keep up with it and keeping your car clean is probably one of the biggest pains in the ass with Plasti Dip. Second of all, uh, when people say that it's hard to rip Plasti Dip off, that means they did it wrong. It doesn't matter if it's your brother, your dad, your sister, if they tell you, uh, no, I've used Plasti Dip before and it's so hard to get off, they are generally doing it wrong. It's, that's what it is. This has been through so many conditions and it has 10 coats of Plasti Dip on it and it came off fine. It came off perfect, just how that does in all the other videos. So if you ever have anyone that tells you it doesn't come off well, it's because they've never done it correctly. It doesn't matter who tells you. If, they, if that's what they tell you, they don't do it correctly. I'm telling you right now, it can be done. If you follow the videos that like Dip Your Car has made, they make great videos. That's how I did mine. Uh, and if you just follow step by step and don't cut corners, then you're fine. Of course, a question that I told you guys, kind of my opinion on Plasti Dip and would I Plasti Dip again? Yes, I would. I 100% would. Plasti Dip, once you do it, it is so easy to keep repeating it. It's such an easy process. It's, I mean, it's literally, you clean the car, you clean it like you're cleaning anything else, let it dry, then you spray it. I mean, it, it, you really can't go wrong. And the fact that you can change your color at any time uh, and do this something in your garage, you don't have to pay someone to do it. That, for a person like me, is amazing. I get to control things on my car. If you're one of those people that see someone plastic up a car and you immediately devalue the car because plastic dip is cheap, that's your opinion. I mean, if, if you think putting plastic dip on something that's not, that is not permanent and just because plastic dip is not expensive that makes the car cheap it doesn't make sense to me that's one of the biggest comments i got uh, if i owned a lamborghini i would plastic dip my lamborghini if i didn't like the color it's it's plasti dip it's not like a cheap person's paint job it's not it's just something you get to change the color of your car and it doesn't take a lot of skill or effort to do no guys we are going in this video with a little teaser and if you guys don't know what that box is then i guess you better get finding out we'll see you on the next video in soul kappa Goodbye! I'm putting my hand in Kappa's face because this is working!